deliverance from strongholds, deliverance from strongholds of the mindset. Welcome back, everybody, to another Real Talk video. I pray you're still doing well on this wonderful, blessed day as we give the most high the honor, the glory, all praise and worship. I really want to say something important in this video. And to a lot of people that's in the ministry, I want to ask you this one question. What type of ministry do you have? What type of ministry do you have? I've been in deep prayer from that live chat last night. Um, Sister Danielle um, that was on there. I've been thinking about your comments you cry out. And that's why on this page I love when we come together. I love the fellowship because this is the most high's ministry, not JT's. I'm just a vessel who's trying to spread the word, even though I know a lot of people won't receive it. And I thought about when you left that comment about I've been having suicidal thoughts. Because I told y'all last night, I got three phone calls with three different suicides just last week. And when I talk about these strongholds on her, see, this is a, a deliverance ministry. I can just honestly say, say, excuse me, throughout the years that I've seen the most time. I've seen the Holy Spirit work through the homosexual, through the lesbian. To the one that was about to commit suicide on this on this page. I'm not saying that for no hand clap. Give give the hand clap to the Holy Spirit. I like to consider this, this ministry here to be just like the same ministry Apostle Paul had. What do you mean, JT? Paul called sin out, and I'm gonna lean on you. I'm gonna make you mad. I'm gonna do my job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come at you so hard I cannot worry about your feelings. I'm gonna do everything that it takes to try to reach you. Now it's up to you to accept it. I, I'm gonna stoop down low to reach you. That's how much I love you enough to tell you the truth. Because why? I'm more concerned about your soul. I'm talking about your soul, not what's in your pocket like a lot of these prosperity, begging, money-hungry preachers be doing. And when you look at Paul's ministry, especially in the Corinth, like I told y'all, Corinth was worse than America. Corinth had a lot of wickedness going on. Corinth had everything you can think of going on, from sexual immorality on down. And Paul had to preach there. Boldly. They kept going against him. A lot of them was rejecting his teachings. Calling him a lie. Starting up other doctrines. And this is why so many people are messed up in their mind. Because of the strongholds of false teaching. Mm, teach Holy Spirit. It's hard to get the truth to a lot of people because they done been brainwashed. Strongholds from the devil himself have painted you a picture of, oh, this is the real doctrine. That's why Paul said if they come preaching another doctrine, if they come preaching another Jesus, if they come with any other spirits, they false. And that's what we're living around. Everybody's not called by the most high. We supposed to be tearing down these strongholds. How you gonna do that if you don't get a little rough? And y'all wonder why I keep saying that's why I love Brother Rain. Paul was rough. The most high, when he chooses you in this ministry, he's gonna choose the ones who are not people pleasers. He going to choose the one that's going to step on your toes just so you can get right. That's me. 
the shoe fit word. I love you enough. I keep saying that I love you enough to tell you the truth. But I'm so glad I've seen so many people throughout the years get delivered. So many people sitting inside of the church battling with strongholds. You know why it's like this a lot of ways too because they have not been truly set up on a true foundation. Who is the foundation? <laughs> Yahshua. That's your foundation. If that's not your foundation, you're going to be deceived. You're going to be lost. You're going to be going through all kind of religion or you might just become an atheist. You're trying to find the right way through all these other ways when you haven't looked Yahweh. You got to understand the foundation. Upon this rock I should build my church and the gates of hell should not prevail against it. That's the foundation right there. He paved the way. He showed us. He taught us. He's the example. Delivering ministry. I'm so sick of all these people out there that do this. I said they do this. Talking about, oh, we got a delivering ministry and it ain't nothing but entertaining. Oh, I know Pastor Corey Adams. I know you're going to fear this video right here. I know you are, brother. You talking about you tearing down and breaking every chain. You ain't broke nothing. You ain't even been set loose yourself. So how you breaking every chain? Hmm. Well, you know when they say they're talking about the Holy Spirit breaking every You won't even allow the Holy Spirit to work on you. Not talking about everybody. When you think about ministry, look at what Yahshua did. Cast out demons. Went to the sinners. Told them where they was wrong at. Offered them salvation. It should be about deliverance. So many people out there talking about they saved and they ain't even got delivered yet. How you going to be saved and you ain't even delivered? You ain't even let go of that old you. You, you haven't even repented nor came into the knowledge of the Holy Spirit. You're just a good church goer, but they don't put you in heaven. Tearing down strongholds. Go back to the garden. Go back to the garden. What happened? I want you to be higher than God. The devil wanted to elevate himself higher than God. He wanted Eve to be all-knowing. It's been going on a long time, y'all. See, that's a stronghold. Oh, teach Holy Spirit. He influenced your mindset. He throws so many things your way that you think is right because he may mix it with a little bit of truth. Oh, but if that foundation is not Yahshua, Danielle, I appreciate you once again for coming in last night. That cry out, it, 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 it just, that's what it's all about. One thing I love about people when they recognize they need help, they in trouble. They got a problem. They got an issue. How else can you get help? And that's why I love this delivering ministry here of the Most High, not JT. Teach Holy Spirit. People are not what they used to be. It brings tears in my eyes every time I, when, when, when I get them emails or they come on camera and, and some of them haven't been on camera in a long time. And when you saw that, hey, she not a lesbian no more, Jay. I know she called me. She sent me pictures of her new husband. He ain't no thug no more. He left the streets alone. He got a job now. He's delivered. He He's doing ministry now. Hey, all glory and praise and honor to the most high. Anything else outside of that type of ministry, what type of ministry is it? Think about it. If you call yourself in ministry, it should be about winning souls over. 
Now, I can't save your soul. The Bible is clear on that. I don't even like to use the term I'm winning souls because the Most High does that. I'm just a, I'm just a, the, uh, the messenger, not the enforcer. I'm just a mediator. I can't, I can't save you. But I understand what you mean when you say I'm winning. I'm trying to win you over. Amen. But how many people are even doing that? Like I just said in the video earlier before I done this one, it's too many people caught on just going to the building. That's why Paul went into them churches. He went into the synagogue. Oh, man. Paul stepped on toes. What they do, they beat him up. They left him for dead. Jumped him. Threw him in prison. Matter of fact, if you think about it, the same thing that happened to Paul was the same thing he was doing to the Christians when he was persecuting them. Put them in prison, kidding them. They beat Paul up so bad, left him for dead. But Paul got right back up preaching. The ministry, he, it, it was so powerful. He shook up the penitentiary when he was in there. The jailers got shook up. People started getting delivered. Man, this is what it's all about. Do you have a delivering ministry? Mm. Are you charging up these strongholds? Or are you just letting everything be? I don't care how big your building is, how many degrees you got, do you have a ministry that's delivering? Or are you just in ministry? Going through the motions of ministry. People that people that I know that go go complain about everything about ministry. What kind of ministry do you have? Because I'm going to tell you something. It's very tiring. It gets very frustrated. How do I know I've been in it a long time? It makes you mad. It makes you angry. It makes you want to give out. Well, let me say it makes you want to give up, but you don't give up. You may give out because your flesh, flesh get weak and give out, but you don't give up. It's about putting on this whole armor. It's about teaching people what you're dealing with. This re we wrestling not against flesh and blood, but principalities. You see Ephesians, what is that, 6 and 12, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. I know y'all getting tired of me saying that scripture, but it may be somebody that don't know that scripture right now. I don't care if I got to say it in every video. Put on the whole armor. That's the Holy Spirit. Look at the woman at the well. Yahshua sparked up, sparked up a conversation. Knew who she was, what she was doing. She was shacking up. You done been with five and the one you with ain't even your husband. She was shacking up. People say shacking up ain't in the Bible, but that was right there. Look at how many men she went through, staying with. He gave her the word. He told her about that spiritual water. He said, I guarantee you, you follow me, come with me, listen to me, you'll never thirst again. And anyway, go that way and sin no more. You know how many people that woman was able to go back and testify and tell so somebody else can get delivered, somebody else can get saved? That's the way it's supposed to be right there. He didn't go hard on her. He knew what she was doing in the most, just, in the most calmest way. He just let her know what she was doing was wrong. But see, you can't do that in a lot of churches. They judge you by the way you look before you even step foot in the door. Oh, he don't look right. She don't look right. I ain't talking about all churches neither. Ooh, look what he got on. He must be straight out of jail. Now, nah, don't let him speak. Don't, no, nah, don't, no. Nah. Y'all sure went to the sinners. But I end with this once again. What kind of ministry do you have the true deliverance or that old entertaining we singing all the time then going back home messed up we performing we got a good we got a good service tonight we doing these songs we, we such and such gonna preach today who getting delivered there are many people inside of the building strongholds got them. 
There are many pastors of strongholds got them. And they wonder why they can't get it right. Shalom, family.